Biker Billy cooks with fire. All right, welcome to the show. I'm glad you spun that little dial, pushed those little buttons, and ended up right here. Because we got an exciting show for you, yes. A little while back, I told you I was going to take a trip south and have me a good vacation. And indeed, I went south, took the big bike, went cruising through the mountains, had a little raid on Maryland, checked out some Civil War battlefields, and I rescued some excellent southern recipes. So you sit y'all self back and relax, and when we come back, we're gonna cook with fire, all right. All right, got my apron on, gonna protect my good bike and t-shirt, because I'm gonna make me a wholly delicious mess. I'm gonna cook some outrageous food. Today's show, we're calling biker yam -beree. yes sir yams we're gonna cook with yams not sweet potatoes and i'm gonna show you a difference a lot of you people out there might say yams sweet potatoes they're all the same thing but if like me you've been going south from when you was a little spud to now you know what a sweet potato and a yam looks like so let's take a look on the cutting board before we get into our wonderful hot peppers and i'm gonna show you the difference this is a yam this is a sweet potato. Now, you can really tell the difference by cutting them open. Now, let's cut open the sweet potato. We're just going to chop that down the middle, and you'll look at the inside of the sweet potato. Now, here goes the yam. Oh, boy. Now, check out the inside of the yam. You surely can tell the difference between the yam and the sweet potato. The recipes I'm going to show you today can be cooked with either or but you're going to get a delicious, beautiful color if you use the yam. So get your southern yams out, and let's start cooking. Now, first thing we're going to do, I got me a big old three-quart pot of water. It's half-filled. It's starting to boil, and I'm going to get my yams in there and start cooking them. So what I'm going to do is chop off the tops, the tips. We don't need those ends, do we now? No, sirree. Now, somewhere over here, I've got a standard government army issue sweet potato peeler. Yes, that's a, a regular potato peeler in my right hand. And just like being in the service, you're just going to peel them taters. Except these are beautiful and nobody's standing over you saying, you is a bad biker, you're in trouble, you're on kitchen patrol. You're in here because you want to cook because you want something delicious and you're going to get it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to peel these babies down. And if you think we're going to do the whole show and you're going to watch me peel them, no, sir. I'm only going to peel half of one just to show you the beautiful color. Just look at that as you peel off the skin. And I'll show you one more time. That's the yam. And this is the sweet potato. You can see the difference in the exterior. And the interior shows it tremendously. Look how white the sweet potato is. Now, what you want to do is you want to take your yams. Let's get rid of these. You don't want these yam skins, do you there, John? Nope. All right, well, we get rid of them yam skins. Now what you do is you take the yam and you split it down the middle. These should be nice and firm, and what you're gonna do is quarter them again, and you're gonna cut them into segments about an inch long, and you're gonna take them and you're gonna put them in the water, and you're gonna boil them in the water until they get tender so that they can be pierced with a fork. Then you're going to drain them out, and you're going to have yams ready to work with. Now, while we imaginarily boil up our yams, let's talk about some spices. What we're going to use here is some nice, long, slim red cayenne peppers. I grew these in the garden. I didn't grow the yams. They came up from the south. Cut their little heads off. We're going to take them. We're going to put them in the food processor. Now, I'm going to chop them sitting back there and you're saying well he's told me what a yam is he's told me what a sweet potato is but what we're cooking well when i used to go down south to my grandma's house in tennessee when i was a little kid we called her mamma she used to sometimes make a bread made out of yam sometimes out of sweet potatoes mamma's yam bread mm -mm -mm, it is delicious that's what we're cooking today so the first thing we do is we're going to start getting our liquids ready so we'll get them Hot peppers are chopping. And we're going to add some molasses. Yes. 
I'm using the dark, deep, rich molasses, not the golden one. Using the dark molasses, the nice yams, and I'm going to show you a little trick. If I had my oil, since I don't have my oil, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of marge or a little bit of butter, and I'm just going to grease up this. Now, this in the biker makes a mistake. I should have me a little bit of corn oil out here. Molasses, I've showed you this before. It's just so thick, so slow that you'll never get it out of the measuring cup and get the accurate measure if you don't do this. So we are going to take one quarter cup of molasses. Look how beautiful, like crude oil for your sick, delicious molasses. And I'm going to take and I'm going to pour this in the food processor. And watch that pour in there. And unlike oil, it did not all come out completely. See? The biker made a mistake, and you caught it live on TV. Now, I'm going to take a quarter cup of honey. We're going to go right into that same measuring cup. We're going to put a quarter cup of honey in here, and we're going to let that drain out, and I'm going to grab me some eggs. This is my favorite gourmet egg trick. Right down here, we'll get ourselves a bowl. In France, they do this with one hand. And somehow, they manage to do it without breaking the eggs. I make the eggs one holy mess now. Look at that. I mean, just look at that. I got eggs all over my fingers. So we're going to take these two eggs, and we're going to get that little bit of shell out of there. If you're sloppy like me, you can get your fingers in the food. It doesn't matter. You use your fingers to eat the food. We're going to pour these two eggs in here, and we are going to take one third of a cup of half and half, put this in the food processor, and we're going to let this get all blended up. Now, while I make all my noise, now look, ah, drop it down. Look at that messy stuff in there. While this spins up, you sit back, you relax. When we come back, we're gonna cook with Southern Fire, all right!